the way I join my um, two sides of these two aspects of my life, uh, music and, and biology, um, comes already with a certain experience, I would say. I've been doing this um, for quite a while. It all started, um, you know, back when I was in, um, in school, when I was really interested in everything that was science related, in mathematics, in chemistry mostly, and then eventually biology, and at the same time music. I come from a family of musicians and music has been all around me. And so I really wanted to do music. I was also good uh, in maths and my, my family, my especially the uh, musician part of, of my family would say, you know what, um, doing music in life is great, but also challenging. And so you should not close any doors for your future. So just continue doing everything. And so I've been doing this in high school. I've been doing this at the um, in college when I was going to uh, Academy of Music in Lithuania and then Vilnius University for biochemistry. And then I continued afterwards. Um, so I've, I've just been doing this, you know. The balance between rational and, and uh, irrational in my music is is something I've 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 been I've been spending a lot of time thinking, um, and I guess you know it's kind of ambivalent. I think by nature I'm a very um, rational, and um, I tend to think structurally. Like when I write music, when I imagine what the music should be. Um, or what, what the process should be of, of, of doing music. I, I kind of need to put my thinking into some, yeah, into some structural schemes, into very, um, like I, I do, I would say inter intellectualize a lot the process of, of creativity. And then at the same time, I'm thinking, oh, but this then just leaves no, you know, no place for chance, no place for um, maybe some kind of an impulse of, uh, a feeling of improvisation of, you know, what about emotion, you know, do I not leave out the emotion? So I think I, I try to constantly balance between um, my like very structured approach to, to, to writing music and at the same time, um, you know, getting the, getting the feeling, getting the unpredictable from it. I say. I get. That the influences or the inspirations for my music is, uh, I think, you know, for every for every person is a is a tricky question. Uh, it's, you know, it's a question of perspective. It's a question also of of, you know, how this evolved in time. And then everything everything um, you mentioned, namely the um, American minimal music, but mostly this early American American minimal music from the seventies, eighties. Uh, and then uh, going to the so-called French tradition. And, you know, it's like I have this uh, loving relationship with, with French music, you know, starting from the you know, 19th century uh, and the impressionism and going, going on. Um, but at the same time, you know, I remember like 10 years ago or, or more, I was, I was listening a lot to Radiohead and, um, and, I, and I thought this influenced me so much. And, at the same time, like, can you hear this from my music? I don't know. At sometimes, you know, maybe let's just pretentiously imagine that, you know, all these things influence me so much. And then I, I hope I, I do not like directly point to these influences, you know. Opera Alpha is one of these examples of, uh, of collaborative and interdisciplinary work that um, I believe has been really successful. It, it was a very rich experience and uh, I learned a lot from it. And I, um, I think, you know, this is one of the main reasons what I would like to continue working with, you know, in a team, because it just showed, it just proved to be really stimulating and interesting and um, once again, worth it, I believe. And so, um, you know, we had a team um, of, of, of artists that were working however on the very specific aspects of this of this uh, of this work say there was a um, you know a writer for the text for the libretto and um, there was a, a stage designer um, who was also you know a general director um, we had um, 
illustrators working on the you know comic strip because that's you know how we call it it's a comic strip opera uh, we had sculptors uh, working on these three-dimensional pieces that became a part of the of the of the stage design or the scenery and as much as, as this you know this prism of like how do you look at the you know piece of of, of like a stage work right it's a chamber opera with singers and instruments but also like in this in this perspective of like comic strip it's something i think really uh, appealing so however our process of doing this i i would say it was pretty classic you know we were we were you know first working on the um what is our uh story, we're working on the story, we're working on the text, we're working on the music, and uh, we're working on the staging. And this came in, um, you know, in, in just, con you know, it's consequent stages, and also, um, you know, we were each responsible for a part of it. And that's why I say it's like, it's a kind of classic thing, it's like, everyone was responsible for their thing. So we were working, you know, as a group, we were talking a lot, but also, you know, yeah, it's a pretty classic collaboration for a stage work. Sure. Sure.